There is no denying that Nvidia is the market leader when it comes to GPUs. Nvidia also has some really performant and world-class software like CUDA and the list goes on and on. That is why when Nvidia produces a model, you really think that it would be of very very high quality. This fine-tuned Llama 3 8 billion from Nvidia which is called as Jet QA 1.5 is one such model. It comes in two flavors, 8 billion and 70 billion. It excels in conversational question answering QA and retrieval augmented generation. In my previous video, I tested the conversational capabilities of this model and I was thoroughly disappointed to say the least. It wasn't really anywhere near its um, multi ton conversation or single ton conversations. Yes, I was using a quantized version and yes, I was using it locally and privately, but still, I have tested like hundreds of models and even the quantized ones perform decently well. So when it comes to NVIDIA, you really expect it to uh, go with flying colors. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to test out locally after installing this JATQA model on my Linux system, NVIDIA's models retrieval augmented generation or RAG capabilities. RAG simply allows you to augment your questions from the model by giving it an external information. So for example, you have some document, you take that document, maybe it's a text or PDF document, you chunk that document, which means that you convert or slice that document into smaller pieces, you convert those pieces into numerical representations or vectors, you store those vectors close to each other which are similar in your vector store and then whenever a user asks a question from the model, first you take that prompt, you search any similar um, pieces or, or slices or vectors in your vector database, you augment that similar uh, um, piece from the vector database with the user's prompt and then you give it to LLM. That is how LLM gets an external repository source of truth and it has more it has more context around your use case and your documents. So this is what RAG is at a very, very simple um, level. So NVIDIA claims that their model has got a real good RAG capability. So let's test it out. I will be using my Linux system there. So let me quickly log in there and then first we will install this model on Linux and then we will do the ragging. This is my Ubuntu system where I'm running one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear my screen and uh, make sure that you have transformers installed. If you don't, just simply do a pip install transformers and then upgrade and it should install the newish transformer on your machine. And make sure you also have PyTorch installed. I have both of them installed. So I'm just going to go straight to installation. First thing, let's import the transformers library. If, if you don't know what exactly this auto tokenizer and auto model for causal LM is, I have various videos where I describe it. Please search the channel and let's import the PyTorch. Let's specify our model. And you can see that we are going with Llama 3 chat QA 1.58 billion. By the way, it also comes in 70 billion. But my machine is not that strong to hold it so i'm just going to go with 8 billion one let's load the tokenizer and now let's download the model by the way i already have downloaded the model which is just under i guess 20 gig so for me it will be quicker to load but if you are doing it it might take a bit of a time okay now let's give it a message which is primarily a user's question so here what we are saying is that what is the percentage change of the net income blah blah blah. So this is a question from the user. What we are going to do it, we will just load a document in our variable and then we will ask question from it. The good thing about it is that you don't have to chunk and vectorize it. This whole context will be provided in line to the model. And of course you can simply use any document of your choice, any uh, text of your own choice. Maybe you have your own file you just write a python code to load that file in your uh, python code gen store it in the variable document it could be anything let's define a function 
this function will receive a message and this context let me make it bit uh, up here so that you will be able to see okay sorry so formatting is off because i'm doing it in the real time let me properly format it and then paste the function again okay so i have pasted it line by line it looks good so if you look at it it's a very simple python function where it is accepting two parameters message and context message is what we put it in above i'm not sure if it is still there there it is this is a message which we had put in which was simply the user's question and then document it should be the word context come here and then first we are giving it a system message so if you have seen these chat templates there are three parts of it system which is your basically um, front end then there is an assistant which is your model and then the user which is you so the system prompt is that this is a chat between a user and an ai assistant the assistant gives helpful detailed polite answer to the user questions based on context the assistant should also indicate when the answer cannot be found in the context now if you want for example your um, chat to be like a, a pirate chat so you can just put in this is a chat between a user and ai the ai will speak like a pirate something like that so this is what system prompt means then assistant is of course your um, um, model and the instruction is please give a full and complete answer and then for item in messages so messages is what we have put in if you remember sorry let me go up a quick again you see this message is in list or array so we have to iterate through it but because we have just put in one so that is why we are breaking from here that if item role is user this is our we have got a, a message from it then we are just concatenating everything to create a conversation with assistant and user in this prompt and then we are formatting the input properly with the new line and then we are returning it that's all we are doing and then let's so this is the message in document this is a function we are calling and that is done up till now let's now tokenize it what it means tokenizer converts this into the token form which is understood by the model and now let's give terminators the llama 3 comes up with this new uh, <clears throat> special tokens called as eot which is end of turn in the chat and now let's generate the output by the model by passing it few of the parameters which include terminator our how many tokens we want like this so let's wait for it to finish you see that we are just specified token and stuff that's quite quick let's get the response from the output and let's print out it there you go so it has responded perfectly well as per our own uh, question so if i just refresh your memory let me scroll up a little you see the question was what is the percentage change of the net income from q4 uh, financial year 23 to q4 fire financial year 24 this is a context we provided and then you see that the model has come up with this so i would say rag capabilities awesome uh, no doubt about that so nvidia um nvidia i think for chat conversational one i was not impressed maybe it was me maybe it was my gpu or maybe it was my system but as far as rag is concerned even this one is amazing really impressed by the ragging capability of this chat qa now let's try out another example because nvidia is a famous company maybe model already knew about these financial results let's try to ask um, about myself who is fahad mirza i'm sure model doesn't know it so maybe i will ask it first that who am i so i'm we have already have defined the function let me format the input and okay so let's see because tokenized it and then let's give the terminators and output and everything and we will print out the response i'm pasting everything in one go just to save time you see model doesn't know about me it is just telling us from its own data that fahad is a pakistani actor model and host so that is incorrect now let's give it the proper context so I'm just going to give it this message again and document. 
So in this document, I am just giving a bit of an information about me that I am an AI and cloud engineer with extensive background in DevOps and databases, <clears throat> AI YouTuber and all that stuff. Okay, so function is already defined. Let's now format it and then we will tokenize it. Let's give it a bit of the uh, terminators and we will ask the model a question. That is done and now let's print it out to see if it works or not there you go so this time it has responded perfectly well so as i said i'm very impressed by its ragging capabilities simply amazing very very quick very fast to the point and it works so i hope that you enjoyed it if you i will drop the whole the whole code in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description so don't worry about copy pasting or typing these commands if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching